gas refrigeration. It's just a Brayton cycle, but instead of making power, it's consuming power, so it's run backwards. So it's a Brayton cycle run backwards. So instead of the power out, you have a power in to the system. Primarily, most of it's consumed to run the compressor. And you do have an ideal gas that goes through. It's like air. It's an ideal gas. <coughs> and you boost the pressure from 1 to 2. Then you have some heat exchanger, which you're going to be rejecting heat. True. And then you have this turbine. Now you had high pressure, you're going to expand it. It stays an ideal gas. It's always an ideal gas. So when you expand it, it drops the temperature down. So here's the temperature is now very low. And some power is generated by expanding it through the turbine. So it helps reduce how much you have to purchase from the outside. So what it's, it's reducing the power consumption that you have to purchase. So W dot external cycle is W dot needed to drive the compressor minus what the turbine produces. So once this is cold, you can put this into another heat exchanger that acts like the evaporator, but it's not, it's always an ideal gas, so there's no evaporation. And it heats it up, and this comes out still cool at T1. So where's the highest hot temperature? The highest temperature in this cycle, one, two, three, or four? Two. two. This is the highest. And this is temperature warm, right? And then this is the lowest temperature, and this is the it's cool temperature. Let's take a look at the cycle on a temperature entropy diagram. Do we still have just a high side and a low pressure side, two pressures? Yeah, we still do, right? There's a negative. So the pressure at 2 is equal to pressure at 3. Let me kind of draw it like this, up like this, and then another line like this. And let's go ahead and put state 1 over here. We then compress isentropically. I'm not going to put in some irreversibilities yet to state 2. That's the highest temperature. See how high that temperature is on a temperature entropy diagram? Way up here is T2. You cool it till you get to some temperature, let's say right here, T3. True? So there's T3. Maybe I should put that over here. T3. Then you expand from 3 down to 4. Isn't 4 the lowest temperature? T4. And then you, it goes to that heat exchanger, and as it absorbs heat, it incrementally gains temperature. It increases in temperature. So from 4 back to 1, and so here is your temperature at 1. True? It make un understandable? One of the challenges of this is if this is absorbing heat from a constant temperature, uh, let's say T low, right? The temperature of the refrigerant, the gas inside this heat exchanger, always has to be less than the temperature of the gas in this heat exchanger. Always has to be less than T low. True? So guess what? That's your lowest value of T low. If you're rejecting heat, the temperature of the gas inside this heat exchanger always has to be greater than the temperature of the high temperature reservoir that you're rejecting heat to, just like this was the temperature, the low temperature reservoir you're grabbing heat from. So guess what? You, you can't have TH any greater than T3. That makes no sense. You have a lot of heat transfer with significant delta Ts no matter what. You usually don't have a very large delta T.